Hey, in this video I will show you how you can solve the add binary problem. So before we get to the code I want to be sure that you understand how summing two binaries works. If you already know how it works, then you can skip this part. Let's say we have two binary numbers, 1101 which is 13 and 110 which is 6 and the result should be then 19. Every time we want to sum two binaries, we have to start from the beginning of the numbers. We take the first digits and sum those together. It's 1 and 0, so the result is 1. The sum of the next digits is the same, so 1 again. The following digits are 1 and 1, so the result is 1, 0. In this case, we have to carry one bit to the next digit and then sum those two together, which gets us to 1, 0 again. Since this time we don't have any further digits to sum with, we just put the 1 at the end. The result should be 19, so it's correct. If you are still not sure how it works, then here is a video for you that explains it very well. And here is the solution. Since we have to go through the binaries, which are represented in strings, we have to start from the end of the strings. So we store the end positions into y and j variables. Then here we have a string which we will return at the end. And our last variable will be the result of the current digits that we have to sum. Down here we loop while y and j are not negative and the carry variable is not equal to zero. If y is not negative, then we go in and add the digit from the first string to the carry variable. Since we want to convert a character to an integer, we have to get the value of the character zero from the ASCII table and subtract it from the digit character. At the end, we decrement y. The same applies to the second binary number. At the bottom of the loop, we add the bit that we calculated. But since it could be equal to two or even three, because of the carry bit, we have to get the reminder of modulo by 2, which gets us the bit that should be applied to the current digit. Then to actually reset the carry value, we only have to leave the carry bit. To achieve that, we have to divide it by 2. As I mentioned before, this loops until we get to the point where we don't have anything to sum with. And finally, at the end, we reverse the string and return it. That's it, thanks for watching, take care.